Dr. Theo Kasuli. You got it. Perfect. <laughs> Did I get the name perfect. right? Okay. It's perfect. Actually, how can our audience remember how to pronounce it? Uh, Bruce Lee eating couscous. Right. So there's the image for everyone. We have Bruce Lee eating couscous. So that actually is going to go through my head now forever. And he is a healer, chiropractor, and author. And again, I want to welcome you to the show. Why don't we start with you, Theo, because you've had some interesting challenges in your life, some powerful medical challenges. You've been able to turn it around. And more than anything, I think right. you've been able to turn it into a career. So I'm wondering if you could uh, share that with our audience and give a little inspiration during these holiday times. I would be, would be happy to. Life is such a precious gift, and I was not aware of that growing up. I grew up a very angry kid. I was a child to a merchant marine father and a very religious mother. So I had two dogmatic worlds to work through. I started also get beat up in school. I was com- for... for being awkward, just being a Greek, being Greek kid, a Greek being different. Kid? Yeah, I'm not, I wasn't American enough. Oh, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the knit sweaters grandma used to make me were not popular at school. If she only knew that. what she was, what she was <laughs> doing. Put that into business. That's an yes, it law, does. Unfortunately. Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> right. uh, so that, that got me into the whole being the smallest kid, the runt in the class, and got beat up for years. Um, that was my my song and dance. It was a difficult time. But that transformed me. I found myself with some razor blades to my wrist at 10 years old Mm. in my father's bathroom upstairs. But then something divine happened. As I was about to slice my wrists, my hands went limp and I stopped. And I immediately knew that it was the environment that was sick, not me. And that I had something bigger to do in this world. It It was a moment of clarity. It was like a divine clarity that came down upon me at that moment that I didn't feel sorry for myself anymore. I felt sorry for the people actually abusing me. You know, I love what you said when you said it's the environment that has the issue. It wasn't me. And that's such a powerful place to be in our lives to realize that there's a lot of issues going on in this world that we're not necessarily responsible for. I was I was lucky to have the epiphany at 10, though. I mean, the the torment continued. I mean, every day at three o'clock after school. Right. was a hard time. attempt. After that, I was semi-paralyzed Thank in a pool Shannon. accident. Mm-hmm. That, was, that was a scary thing when someone turned my neck in an inappropriate way. Then, so the semi-paralysis scared me enough to go into chiropractic and get my life back. After that, I had open-heart surgery at age 28, and then another open-heart surgery at age 39. So it was not was one thing. It was a continuous right, list of things right. that led me to, what am I doing on this earth? What does this all mean? Why is God punishing me? All these different things. And, and what did you come up with? He's not punishing me. He's strengthening me. Okay. Yes. He's turned that anxiety to something positive. How do you actually deal with that anxiety? Right. So why don't we go around Theo and then... Well, I teach, I teach my students and also my patients how to do this and transmutate the energy. Any energy okay. that's negative, I transform into their, basically their superhuman version of themselves. And I do that through the Be a Master uh, website and uh, BeAMaster.com, which is my uh, seminar. And I teach on different various topics. Uh, but you have to have an internal strength. And you have to find that internal strength with faith, belief, uh, also in a higher right, power, exactly but also, also with about. yourself right. as right. well. Mm-hmm. And know that you are connected and you are connected to this uh, huge network of energy that you are. Yeah, I think it's so important, too, to realize that we're not alone. And that's what I want people to hear over the holidays that we're all sharing, that we all have a commonality. And Yes, the um, story. We all have a story. The way to attach and connect is so yeah. important during this time. Yes. Sure, go ahead, uh, Theo. Sure. Yeah. Pauly, <laughs> thank so you for your call. Uh, the the Kasuli method is a four-part system of removing what the body doesn't need, reconnecting the nervous system, rebuilding the body tissues, and then... Uh, resetting the mind through hypnosis and other uh, proprietary areas of, of expertise. Uh, it's what I teach all my patients. Uh, it's what I coach and what I mentor on. And also uh, what I teach in the seminars and be a master, uh, to be a master of your life and transform everything. So when people come traumatized, hurt, in pain, whatever it may be, I am like a good hacker. I go into the wiring and I re- rewire you for better performance. And what is your method? How do you do the rewiring? How do you change the software? I use chiropractic right. to work on the hardware. But I use... The hardware, okay. For the software, the mind, I basically use uh, different pressure points. And also, 
uh, positive affirmations, works, workings like that. Uh, different, different things that when I'm with the patient, uh, different mappings. I have a different mapping of the nervous system of what areas correspond to different feelings, emotions, etc. That uh, that works. It works really well. Transdimensional healing in the future. Believe it or not, that is something that is going to be a real thing, where people will actually go in altered states and actually see, feel, and do the healing. They're doing it now. I mean, we're, I do regression hypnotherapy myself. So it's, it's something like that, but also we will have the technology where we will, we're going to be able to see it. Like the doctor will be able to monitor what different, uh, wh whether it be waves, whether it be uh, visions, colors, whatever, it's coming. It's actually on its way. But I'm so. wondering, in your own, all of you, in your own professional experience, what do you think is one of the most important attributes of people a person needs to have in order to make that positive choice. So I'll start with Dr. Thea. For, for one, I believe self-love is the most important thing to have for yourself and self-respect, saying that I'm worth it. I'm worth it and I deserve life. And to stick it, stick it around. regardless of what other people have regardless said. Regardless of what other people have said. Again, if you're out there and you're a listener and you're having a difficult time in your life, understand that you are together with a huge family. It's called Earth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're all in some difficult time at some point of our lives. And to reach down, I want you to reach down deep and really ask yourself, is this going to last? And the answer you're going to find out is no. This too shall pass, biblically, if we have to go. Yeah. But you have to transcend religion and get connected to your maker. Right. Something made you. And if you want to think that that one thing that made you, that grand thing, doesn't believe that you need to exist... I think you're wrong because I you, agree with you'd you be more. here. You wouldn't be here. Yeah, and I love what you said about that. We're all in this together. We are. 